Prime Minister Robina Nabanja last weekend visited Nakasongola district to assess the extent of damage caused by the floods on Lake Choga. As a follow-up on her visit, the Premier today held a multi-sectoral meeting to strategize on how to solve issues of displaced persons. The meeting included area MPs and Nakasongola district local government leadership. The meeting took place at her office in Kampala. For example, a road uh, Namukanga, Nabutaka. You left 400 meters and attended it too. And then you pay the money. You use one petrol station and you go and collect the money from the petrol station. It, it's not good, we are aware. You know when I, I, left, I left the intelligence office at that side. So Mr. Chairman, you may not be aware. You, you produce substandard caravans. Yes, substandard caravans. Within just a short while, uh, when, whenever a, a, a big vehicle comes, ah, they, they are broken. She said an impact assessment should be undertaken to establish what has been done with the money sent to the district for road maintenance. The Minister of State for Works, Musa Echweru, was asked to visit construction works on a bridge connecting Kayunga and Nakasongola to assess the performance of the contractor who has failed to complete the work on schedule. Time in roads committee meeting takes place, get within your program some few minutes for on-the-spot assessment. Go to the road, we want to go and see what the money that was sent last financial year, or the money we are discussing in this roads committee meeting what it has done. Don't just sit in the, the, your very good conference room there and assume what you are getting as a report is what is reflected on the ground. The Nakasongola district LC5 chairperson, Sam Chigula, presented a detailed status report about the district and proposals on how to solve emerging challenges. Doreen Nasasera, reporting for UBC News. <laughs>